Welcome back to another NFL video, and I wasn't expecting to talk about much football today until Tom Brady went on a podcast and said he wouldn't be opposed to coming back late in the season if a team calls in an emergency situation before we've just heard him shut it down and say, I'm retired and I'm feeling good about my decision. I still don't think you could buy too much into this as Tom, he has a sense of humor. He could be joking somewhat about this, and there would be some complications as he mentioned, such as being a part owner of the Raiders, obviously. Obviously, you can't be playing for a team like the Patriots while owning a team like the Raiders. That just wouldn't work. But he did say, what if it was a team like the Raiders or a team like the Patriots? The 49ers were mentioned in this podcast as well, where if there's an emergency situation, he could possibly st be stepping in. If you're looking for a situation like this that's happened to look if there's any possibility of Tom making the return, then the 49ers last year, not this season, but when Brock Purdy went down the NFC Championship game and they they were ravaged via injuries. It later got reported that if they would have won that game despite the injuries, Phillip Rivers would have stepped in and been their emergency quarterback for the Super Bowl. So obviously unforeseen circumstances would have to happen, but it's always fun to speculate Tom Brady coming out of a second retirement like he did the first time, even though he seems pretty content with it now. According to Vikings announcer Paul Allen, the Broncos are so desperate to move up for a quarterback, specifically JJ McCarthy, that they'd be willing to trade their first this year, next year, and possibly an elite player like Patrick Sertain. Now, Sean Payton, he considers himself a quarterback whisperer. A lot of people believe that they won't go into the season with the quarterback room like this, which means they'll look to get someone in the draft. Speaking of the draft, Adam Schefter is saying that it seems a little more clear who the commanders are going to go at number two, and Jaden Daniels is the front runner from that. We've heard rumors from Drake May to J.J. McCarthy, but it seems like with a couple weeks, two weeks exactly before the draft, they could be settling and getting comfortable with Jaden Daniels, the reigning Heisman winner out of LSU. Subscribe if you like these videos. Let me know your thoughts.